Oh, you've got a field opening. I'll just go in. This is Daniel Cole for H. Lake Box and repeat. We're in Liverpool for Paul Butler versus Jonas Sultan. Surprised and delighted to be joined by a super lightweight, Jack Capital. Jack, uh, just a quick word before we get on to yourself. Uh, career best win for Paul Butler in there over uh, Jonas Sultan. Just a reaction to this performance. Yeah, over the moon for Paul. Uh, we have similar uh, training sessions with my strength coach. You'll see how hard Paul's worked for this fight. Uh, his discipline and the change of opponents and the, the things that he's had to deal with over the last couple of months. So, uh, the fight out that abroad that didn't happen. But just over the moon for him, he's got that belt now, and hopefully, they can get some more big fights on the back of that. You're still a bit rocky feeling uh, in action tonight. Uh, what did you make of Rocky's performance in there? He looks strong up at 175. Yeah, he looked strong. Uh, I thought that's the way the fight was going to go. He touched him uh, for the first two rounds, started to break him down and got him out in the third. I thought, uh, again, he had a fight not so long ago, a bit of uh, momentum going forward and I believe there's some more big fights for Rock. Uh, I spoke to Rocky the other day and he still sees his future at 168. Um, I just wonder if you would any more insight to that. There's obviously some big domestic names at light heavyweight. You've got the Boatsy Richards fight coming soon, and Arthur at the yard, uh, Calm Johnson. Where do you think his best weight is? Yeah, I mean, you'll have to speak to Rock. I mean, I'm sure he knows where his weight's most comfortable. Uh, like you said, then I think if the opportunity come at the weight above for them type of fights and it was it made sense to Rocky, then he would take them. But, I mean, you'll have to speak to him about that one. On to yourself, Jack. Uh, it's been a couple of months now since your controversial uh, loss to Josh Taylor for the Undisputed Super Lightweight Championship. Um, I'm not going to go over too much old ground. Just how has the sort of rebuild mentally been since that obviously incredibly disappointing night for yourself? Yeah, it's been... It's been up and down for the first first couple of weeks, but uh, again, I've said it before, such is life. Uh, as as a fighter, as a family man, as a team member, I've drawn a line under it. We all have now. It's about it's about focusing on what's next. I could sit and, sit and weep about it for forever long, but it's not going to change nothing. Uh, my plan is always to be world champion, and that's still my plan. Uh, you obviously lodged an appeal with the WBO, um, essentially just to sort of revise their rankings, get yourself moved up from number four to number two, if I understand it right. Um, we found out a few days ago that that appeal had been unsuccessful. Can I just get your thoughts on that? It must be just another crushing blow. Yeah, it's just disappointing. Uh, the, the governing bodies, the, the, the officials and stuff, I mean, it's, it's a difficult one. You put your life and soul into fighting and, and these people, do they understand? I don't know, but they're making decisions that are uh, potentially ruining fighters' careers, etc. So it's disappointing, uh, but again, it is what it is. Uh, the consensus after that fight with Josh, with Josh would move up to welterweight uh, and the belts would sort of fragment. Uh, I watched an interview with Ben Davison, obviously Josh Taylor's trainer, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and he sort of hinted that it maybe wasn't set in stone that Josh would move up to welterweight. Um, that's obviously the dream scenario for yourself, getting all crack at all four of them belts. Yeah, of course, it'd be nice uh, to have the rematch with Josh, and again, uh, I believe I beat him every day of the week and twice on Sunday, but uh, I think with the situation with the belts and the mandatories that they've put on everybody, uh, do I believe the fight's going to happen next? Possibly not, but I do believe me and Josh will fight down the line in the future. I think we all hope to see it, mate. Jack, I'll not keep you anymore. Thanks for being this, mate. Have a good night. Cheers, pal. Thank you very nice much. Nice one. I'm Danny. Nice.